Hello and welcome to episode 28 of Sunday the Perfect Podcast. I'm Angie, also known as Sunday the 920. And welcome all new viewers. Thank you for giving me a try. And all returning viewers, thank you and welcome back. Um, today we've got a little scratching post news. I got quite a few things on my claws. And I've got nothing off my claws. And I have a couple purrs. And then scratchy post. And that's about it. So let's get going. And if y'all excuse me real quick. My dog, Hope, she's outside. She wants back in. So let me go let her in. And I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. We, Luke, decided to come say hello. Um, see the scratching post? Um, the prize, the winner, probably was Apple 380. I will be getting your prize out next week, so I don't know how long I'll take of going across to you, so. But I will get in the mail next week. And then the Challenge Yourself Cal is going on. And I was going to do a card again. But I realized that the yarn I'm using and, and the gauge. I don't have the right needles, and with my budget, I can't get any right now, so I have to wait until next month. So I hope, I'm going to try to do something else, which I'll talk about later. And, um, but, yeah, so that's my update on the challenge yourself. But, um, so I got that going on, and I guess that's all for the stretch room post, not a lot. So I guess I'll go to the knitting, and, um, I have quite a few things on my claws. One thing I can't show you, still working on my gift knitting. So we'll move it over. And other thing is my stripy sock. I got a little oh, but I got a lot done, but I did get a little. I got a few. I forgot to put a little doohickey so you could see how much, but I think last time I showed it to you it was like like, I just did, like, these first two stripes. So, making progress. And, Fancy Dog Dye Works. Blooming colorway. I did check. It's the Blooming colorway. And her twist sockets. And I'm not sure what needles. The size and the ones. Are they ones? Yes, ones. So, I worked on that a little bit. And then I started a shawl. Um, it is the, I don't remember, it's Lori or, I'm not sure, I'll link it. It starts with the L, I know that, but I'll link the pattern in the show notes. But I've got quite a bit done, and I'm using, um, first let me show this to you. I'm like that. So you can see in the middle it has this really pretty like cable and lace pattern. There you go. So I've done I think five repeats of the pattern. Yeah. I've done five repeats. It's a really simple pattern that's not really hard. It is a paper pattern. Um, it is not hard and it's going, it's probably going to start going more slowly because every repeat I think increases with 16 stitches I think. So as you keep going, it's going to get longer to do a repeat. But, um, yeah, I just had this yarn, and I thought it would, well, I thought, well, I'll use this yarn for that pattern, and then when I was reading the pattern, this is the actual yarn it called for, so, that doesn't happen very often, but it's a Dream in Color Smooshy, I believe, and it's really washed out, like, it's like pink, it's a real pale pink, but the lighting's not good today, because it's kind of overcast and rainy. 
but yeah. So and I forget the name of the of the yarn, the colorway. I think it's in my show. Oh, in my show notes. I think it's in my project page. And I got little cable needle, my pink cable needle. So yeah. So I've been working on that, and like I said, it's like I work on it like I'm watching TV. So it's it's not so hard that you know you can't, which is the way I like it. <laughs> I don't want it to be too complicated. So, got that started. My Alabama bag. Keep my yarn in my stash button. And then, the only other thing I've really been working on is my um, sock blanket. And I finished, I'm going to show it to y'all because I finished another whole row. So, I've got three. Whole rows. So, this is the end I was finished up. And, of course, most of these are going to be known acres because that's my goal. I think the last time I showed it to you, I don't really remember where it was. Maybe like right about here or so. That's why I got. All this, and again, you can't really see the color of the wheel. And I think it's been a while. And then I'm starting the fourth row. I did this, I did these three last night. This is cookies. <laughs> oh, you know, I just realized I do have the office. Something I finished. I'll have to go get it. But yeah, so I'm making progress on my blanket. So I'm quite pleased with the way it's coming out. I think after I finish, I'll probably put some kind of like a border around it because it's kind of you know you can see it kind of jagged. They don't line this one did, but but like that one didn't really line up very. So, anyway, so I've been working on that. I'd like to try to do one a day, but I don't really know if that's something that'll happen. So, I'll try, but we'll see. And, let me pause real quick and run and get my off the clock. Alright, I was, um, cleaning out my stash, going through it, trying to get organized. And I found this, um, I had nine balls of this acrylic yarn. And I thought, well, I'll just hold it double and, make, and crochet a, 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 a pet blanket out of it. So I did this last weekend, and I finished it. And it made a big blanket. <laughs> and the cat like it. And I messed up. I don't know if I can put it there. Along one edge. I don't know what I did. I think I got turned around and started crocheting on the wrong side or something. I'm not sure. But, yeah. It's really thick and squishy and the cats like it. So, they've been laying on it. So, throw it over there. So, that's all I got off my claw. And I used up uh, eight of the balls of the yarn. And the yarn, well, it was Patton's Melody, I think, in the coral colorway. I think that's right. And I used, like, this huge crochet hook. And it had no letter on it or number or whatever. So I really have no idea what size it was. So it was just, like, this huge <laughs> hook. So... That's what I got finished. And I guess that's it for arm and off the paws. So now we will go to curves. And it's kind of good with what I was going to. I was going to start this, but I had um, ordered this yarn and I got it this week. But I did have a pattern in mind. And I've been wanting to knit this for a while. It is 
Sleeves by Martina Pham. And it's basically like kind of like a shawl with sleeves. <laughs> so I bought that pattern and I got some Miss Babs was having a sale on her yarn. And I got some uh, it's Miss Babs tart in the roasted pumpkin color. And it's probably not going to show because it just looks like brown. <laughs> but it's, you know, like a roasted pumpkin color. It's really pretty. And yeah, it's just not going to show. But I got this to make sleeves. And um, I was going to start it the other night but it has like a something I've never did so challenge so so I needed to look at some videos where me and my husband got to watch a movie so I think I ended up um, switching to work on my sock blanket and I'll probably try to figure out what I need to do today for that so. and what the oh and then I won um, in Limit Crochets group, I had, um, entered my cow I made, and that's thanks to, I think, I get your name right, Christy Rose, she reminded me to put it in the thread, and I won, and I got my yarn, she sent me some fiber knit works, and the swoosh, swoosh, I guess, base, and it's Polly Wanna Cracker, and it's not really showing accurate, but you get the gist of it. We've got like oranges, um, showing blue. I don't think there is any blue. No, there's no blue in it. <laughs> and that blue. That's a totally different color. This is like green. It's kind of a blue green. Like a blue green and then like a little lighter green. And then you got orange. Not exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird, but no. But I got that, so thank you, Lauren. And yeah, <laughs> don't have a lot. Um, I did finish. I might have got it last week. I think I told y'all I was listening to. Um, I think I might have said Catching Fire on Audible, but it was actually um, Mockingjay. And I finished that this week, and um, I listened to finish that, and then I listened to two Doctor Who books, and I just got because in Audible you get a credit each month for a book, and I just got my credit, and I got The Hobbit, so I'm excited to start that one, and yeah, other than that, and. Not much per why. Um, so I guess we'll go into the school, not scratching post, the sun patch. And the sun patch, um, hope if you're wondering, she's doing really great. She's napping now. She came in and she gained a lot of weight. <laughs> she's probably the biggest she's ever been, but I guess since all her organs are where they're supposed to be now, it's, it's, Probably the reason why she's not as skinny as she used to be, but we call her Miss Piggy now. Because she loves to eat. Yeah, we have to watch her because she will eat like dog food, people food, cat food. So she's like constantly wanting to eat. So she definitely doesn't need to gain any more weight. So but she's doing really well. And um, the one thing I forgot to tell y'all. It was back when Hope was going through all her surgeries, and um, but I had I had let Hope out in the cat area because we were letting her out in the cat area instead of this other area because we didn't want her tempted to chase the cats and the the backyard cats since she really wasn't you know feeling that good. And I let her out, and I saw an orange cat kind of run. And she kind of um, 
half-heartedly kind of went after it, but, you know, she wasn't feeling good, so she didn't really go after it. And I thought, well, that's strange. Why did Jake run? Because if you've seen it, um, a past episode, it's, I think it's on my shoulder, he'll see Jake, and he was <laughs> on my shoulder. And I was like, well, and he's orange. <laughs> and I was like, why did he run? He usually doesn't, you know, run. And I, and I started thinking, I bet that wasn't Jake. And I only have, like, one, like, orange, orange cat. And I thought, let me see. And so I looked in the house, and sure enough, he was, like, on the couch. So I go outside, and, yeah, there's a strange orange cat in my cabin. <laughs> so I have to get the dogs. I think it was just Hope outside. I had to get Hope back in. I had to get any cats that, my cats that were out there. I had to get them in. And, um... Then I had to try to get the cat out, and he was scared, so I'm like, I open up the gate, because there's a gate, and I open it up, and I thought, okay, I'll try to like, you know, just kind of walk towards him, and when he runs, I can kind of hurt him in that direction. Well, at one point, he gets like, he's like right in front of the gate, like all he has to do is just go straight. But I guess he's just so scared, and he, you know, just wasn't, I don't know, he was just scared. And so he's like trying to jump up the gate, you know, because part of the gate was closed and the other part was open, because it's like a, so he's like climbing up it, and he can't get out, because they can get in, apparently, but they can't get out, and so then he ran back, on, you know, the opposite way, and, and then I had to herd him that way again, and finally he, and I've never seen him since, so, yeah, and the, 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 probably the, a crazy thing that ever happened was once a squirrel got stuck in there because we have things on the trees so the cats can't, you know, because Leo was climbing up the trees, jumping on the house and getting out. And I had a squirrel that fell in there one time. Oh my gosh. I'm like running because see, Luke was out there. So I'm like running around trying to get Luke. He's chasing the squirrel. He catches the squirrel at one point, has the squirrel, like, behind. You can tell he's so proud of so. But, he, you know, of course the squirrel's, like, a little too big for him, so he, it ends up getting away. And I finally got Luke in and uh, left the gate open for a while, and the, the squirrel got out. But the funny thing is that after that happened, the squirrel, I'm not kidding, they came back, and they, like, chewed up in the little mesh stuff that keeps the cat they chewed a hole in it so they could get in and out some squirrels smart <laughs> but yeah those are some adventures that I have here on the, on the farm <laughs> but um I'm sure the neighbors cause I do have a neighbor I'm sure she saw me out there chasing a squirrel and a cat Yeah, I'm sure I gave some people some laughs if they saw me but Anyway, I guess that's it. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope y'all have a great weekend, and I will see y'all next week. Bye!